today I'm going to talk about this Squire Classic Vibe 50s Strat. Now, obviously it's you can tell it's not a stock guitar. I've done a few modifications to it. So I would like to go ahead and talk about these mods and kind of explain to you what I've done and, and then we'll try and run through some sounds and see how see how it fares. So first off, the first thing you notice that I've done a new pickguard. Um, I didn't care much for the white pickguard, didn't really flow too well with the uh, the finish. Um, the other thing you'll notice about the pickguard is I'm missing a volume knob. Now this is a custom pickguard I had made from at Warm Off, and I only did the uh, tone and volume on the, the bottom here. Now I'm running a master tone and a master volume pot as well. Now, these pots are unique. Um, I've got a no-load pot here in the, the tone, excuse me, and then the volume pot, is, which is a standard 250k, has a treble bleed circuit on it as well. Um, standard five-way switching as usual. Now, the next thing I've upgraded is the, uh, the, uh, the bridge. And this is a guitar fetish bridge, and I've got brass saddles on this thing. And it is also running a um, brass full-size block as well. Now, I do have five springs, and um, I don't have the tremolo alarm installed. I don't, I don't really use it that much, so um, I like the way that the springs resonate and uh, gives a little more sustain as well. So... The last thing I've done to this guitar is the pickups here. Now these are Bill and Becky Lawrence Wild pickups. These are micro coils. Uh, for those who are, are not familiar, um, this isn't the, the the Bill Lawrence that's all over eBay and, and Amazon. Uh, this is Bill and Becky Lawrence, the the uh, in-house version. Um, and again, these are micro coils. They're the Elm Eagle Five versions, and they sound fantastic. Um, much cleaner, much more open and brighter than the stock pickups that came with this guitar, so it's quite the upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and run through some sounds on this, these pickups, just kind of show you how they they go through and how they fare in comparison. So the guitar right now is running through to my pedal board. I'm running a Carl Martin compressor. It's the Andy Timmons version with the, um, the two channels. Um, I use one channel for the compression, the other channel I use compression as well, but it's uh, a volume boost, so I get it. It's kind of like a clean boost. Um, I run from there into a um, exotic RC booster, and then a Wampu Euphoria, and then for delays I'm running a Source Audio Nemesis delay, and a for reverbs I'm running a Strymon Blue Sky, and all that runs into a Voodoo Lab Giggity to kind of beef up the sound and add a little bit of shimmer on the top end. So uh, let's go ahead and check out how the neck sounds on this guitar. I'm going to run both the volume and the tone up all the way just to give you a feel how this thing sounds wide open. So, here is the neck pickup. Here is the neck in the middle. Here's the middle. So let's check out the middle and the bridge. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the volume down to about six or seven and I kind of activate the treble bleed. And then I'm going to kick on some delay here to get that kind of a U2 sound and show you how shimmery these things, these micro coils can be. And of course the tone I have all the way up as well. Very shiny, indeed. So let's check out the bridge pickup and 
I'm going to throw on, I have a Wampa Euphoria, just to kind of show you how, I don't know, how bright and good this bridge is, so. Very, very shiny for our bridge pickup. So I'm gonna throw on some um, additional drive. I've got a uh, Seymour Duncan 805, just to kind of show you how this bridge sounds as well. <laughs> Super thick, love it, very much so. So that is the Classic Vibe 50 Strat with uh, Bill and Becky Lawrence Wild Micro Coils and uh, sounds fantastic. So um, yeah, thanks.